what is happening what is going on you absolute bunch of legends so in this video i'm going to show how to create fur really easily on an object so uh yeah it's going to be very very easy to do and you can create some pretty cool kind of thing objects renders scenes using this technique you don't need to put on objects you could even use it as like almost like grass or like an surreal kind of scene and make it like pink grass or green or well, grass is green but blue grass or whatever but yeah once you know the basics of how to create the fur then you can have fun with it so let's let's get into that first thing i want to do is i'm going to click on my camera i'm going to delete it i do not need it then we need an object so let's go with the monkey so shift a mesh and we're going to go monkey and then what you want to do is you just want to smooth the monkey out so you're going to click there on modifies with your monkey selected click on there and type in subdivision surface modifier and then you're going to change this to two and then what you're going to do is it's not smooth yet what you're going to do is click on right click shade smooth and now our object is pretty smooth now you want to put some fur on him or her so what you want to do is click on shading click on the object and hit new and then click over here and now you can see things are dark so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click there and uncheck scene world and then first thing you want to do is to get your fur color you're going to change your base color so that will basically tell you what color your fur is going to be so let's go with let's go with like a blue and then you want to go back here and you want to just go like this and click on your particles so click there hit plus and then from emits you're going to change it to hair so now it looks like this it's kind of crazy change the hair length quite a lot down to so make it probably about 0 0.2 bring the segments up to six and then what you want to do is you want to change the hair number to about 3000 and then what you want to do is you want to click on advanced and go to hair dynamics check it click there and then open up your structure and you want to make the stiffness 0 0.6 if you want it to be kind of so you can see if you want it to be let's make it yeah let's make it three and then go to volume and the air drag you can make it make it about five this will just affect your when you animate in the 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 fur basically and then what you want to do is you want to go to physics so there and you want to slightly increase your brownian so if i go to like 0 0.2 you can see what it does there it makes it look like that so i think 0 0.15 is pretty good and then what you want to do is go down to children open this one and change this to interpolated and you can see what this does it kind of creates this weird looking kind of hair and like fur and you can change the display amount so if i go 20 you can see it increases it if you go down to like five makes it a bit less and you can see what happens there so this guy obviously needs a, a hairbrush but let's make it like about eight looks pretty good kind of fuzzy which looks pretty cool when you're clumping you can see yeah what will happen i'll bring this in you just want to get it to you can see if i bring it all the way there does it if i bring it all the way up kind of does that so you want it to be pretty much in the middle you could probably bring it down a little bit it's about there looks pretty good and then if you want to animate it you can obviously animate it using your keyframes and you can use like wind or that kind of stuff i don't really yeah i'm not going to really show you how to animate it if you want a video on how to animate the fur let me know i will happily do it it's pretty pretty cool pretty easy to do but you can see that it looks pretty nice and then if you want to change the color so you can go to shading and if i go yeah i can get like a pink you can create your hair color using the base color of your principle be stf will change the color of your fur or your hair so yeah <laughs> and it's a pretty pretty random video but hopefully you you enjoyed the video hopefully you learned something and make sure you hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video feel free to check out the patreon peace